All right, Shalom and Makim, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakak uh, in, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay, uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the Akim out there pushing his word in truth and sincerity, enduring afflictions, you know, uh, pushing this word to the best of your ability, you know. So I'm, I'm in transit. Right now, in the spirit, the spirit jumped on me to uh, do this lesson, and uh, you know, a precept, a precept popped into my mind, and uh, basically, a precept popped into my mind. Hold on one second. A precept popped into my mind, and then you know, just inspired the lesson. So, uh, what I want to go into is, I want to go into uh, Proverbs, the 14th chapter, where it says, "Riches profit not in the day of evil." Okay, because you know, I'm here in. in, in uh, in San Francisco, one of the chief cities, one of the chief financial cities at that, of Babylon, where a lot, there's a lot of money out here, you know, there's a lot of money, and you can see there's a, there's a difference between Israelites and then, uh, then, uh, Esau and the heathen nations, all right, it's, it's a very, uh, clear, uh, clear sign who, who, who you will say that's winning in this society, okay, here in Babylon, all right, that the, the demographic as far as fi financial, financially, it's very wide. The gap is very wide. Are right, you got a lot of techies out here? You got a lot of the um, uh, a medical industry. Okay, the financial district is down here. Okay, uh, a lot a lot of money runs through uh, San Francisco, and for the most part, uh, you so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans are not touching any of that money. Okay, that's why you that's why uh, you're left to crime. That's why you're left to selling drugs. You know, in and out of jail. Okay, uh, pimping. Okay, which which in the scriptures called whoremongering. Okay, uh, 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 doing doing all type of dirt stealing from these stores, and, you know. And then you'll see you see these Elamites and these Ishmaelites, so-called white men, Moab, Ammon. You know they be driving the nice cars. You know, uh, uh, they live in the, what you will call these nice high-rise buildings. Which these, none of these people are living good. All right, that's all smoke and mirrors, and you can't get deceived. You can't get deceived at any of those uh, fleshly things. All right, that, that's supposed to just run right off of you. All right, that's not supposed to, you know, sometimes, you know, you'll get down in the spirit. And also, you know, when you're low and you don't, you don't have, maybe you don't have a car. Maybe you're staying with your parents and you're seeing these goddamn heathens and uh, they're winning. But you have to understand, let me bring out the scripture. It can, it can say it a, a lot better than I can. And actually, um, I think it's a uh, problem. Let me, I think it's Proverbs 11. So like, I said 14. That's another scripture that I have. Uh, Proverbs 11 and 4 it says riches profit not in the day of wrath so so uh we we are all being prepared for that that great day of wrath from the, the lord's returning that's what this whole thing is about okay it's about uh it's about being saved from the wrath to come all right that righteous anger that indignation that the lord has towards the planet earth all right for for all these people going astray uh, 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 indulging in all type of uh, mal practices, okay? Which the word mal, when you go into, uh, I know that's a Spanish word, so it has to go back into the Latin. That means bad, all right? And the, and, and all these mal practices that these people uh, uh, indulge in and, and take themselves in, homosexuality, uh, lesbianism, okay? Uh, uh, these different religions which breed nothing but a uh, uh, Satanism. That's all that it is. It's just another form of, of do as I will. Are just believing in yourself, believing in the so-called white man. All right, that that right there just that right there uh, entails a bunch of um, negative negative things that come with that. All right, that means you accept you accept all manner of wickedness, man, and and you you have more righteousness. When you look at righteousness in the so-called viewpoint of the so-called white man, which are you biblical Edomites, when you when when the so-called white man looks at righteousness, he he frowns upon righteousness. He frowns upon righteous acts. He frowns upon the law, statutes, and commandments in his Bible. Okay, at the same time, he'll take this Bible and he'll put it in your face and he'll tell you to love him. While while he's in the he's in the um the he's in the, the back room making all type of backdoor deals to put you to death. All right, he's poisoning your food. Okay, he's poisoning all the substances that are in your house. Okay, everything everything that the so-called white man creates, there's a negative there's a negative uh, uh connotation towards it. It's a negative uh energy place upon it okay even these cars okay you can get from one end to the uh one end of the earth one end of the city to the next 
or you oh that's a great invention well at the same time you're sitting down which is causing all type of back pain or your hip pain okay you're breathing in all type all these type of emissions all right you can get in a car crash okay so in, in, uh, amongst all the chemicals that are that make up the car are toxic okay well, let me read that again it says riches profit not in the day of wrath but righteousness deliver it from death you know which 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 you follow in the law of and commandments and and um and worshiping and believing on the names of yahweh yahweh shai that's why the scriptures say isaiah 33 and 6 that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times all right because you're going to be uh doing those righteous acts which we know that we we can't be righteous at the same time we uh rehearse the righteous acts of uh, judges 5 and 11 in the land of drawing water you know talk about our captivity here in america we try to uh, uh we try to follow the laws as best as we can but we know that this the society on all on all facets of life from the top to the bottom left to right is wickedness that that pressure which is that oppression pressing upon you to where you you have no choice but uh, uh, but to but to be here in captivity you can't you can't leave furthermore the lord said we can't leave we have to prophesy against it all right we have to uh, uh the lord said set your face against mount seer mount seer and prophesied against it and tell Mount Seir, which is the house of Esau, are you biblical Edomites, what's going to befall you? Are right, because all your uh your your hatred, your perpetual hatred, which the word per perpetual means without end, continuous. So you're conti also it means ancient, okay? So you had that ancient hatred all the way going back into Jacob Esau, all the way going back into um Cain and Abel, all right, that enmity, all right. That, that hatred for your brother Jacob, man. We are Jacob. You you so-called white people, whatever name you call yourself, the Germans, the French, the British, the Americans, are you're the you're the biblical Edomites, okay? Now kind of spiraling back to uh, what I was bringing out earlier about these riches, man. These riches are not going to save you in a day of evil, man. They're not going to save you from all the the hell and calamity that's going to befall you. All right, because these temporary riches, these temporary uh, FRNs, okay, you, you you might even have cryptocurrencies, or you might have euros, you might even have gold and silver. When when society crashes down, all right, when all hell breaks loose, when Jacob trouble is is issued in, all right, when a so-called white man comes in as a flood, Revelation 12 and 12, when he locks you up, you can't you can't present him any of those uh, 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 federal you can't present him any of those Federal Reserve notes. Okay, you can't you can't give him paper. He's not going to accept or regard paper. All right, he's not going to even regard gold. All right, and number one, he has all the gold, and then during that time, it's going to be so it's going to be so much hell on earth that gold that that's going to be that's going to be an afterthought to these people's mind. All right, their their first thought is how to survive the next second. All right, so you can't be in a um you can't be in a, in a spirit of uh envy. Let me get that scripture about envy um envy not the oppressor okay because who who you have to ask yourself this who is your oppressor all right your first your first and principal opp oppressor are right, is the so-called white man which which biblically is known as the edomites all right and then uh right along with the other nations okay and, and your woman man your woman right uh um he, what Isaiah the third chapter talks about how women rule over you, our children are your oppressors. That's the so-called white man, and women rule over you. Meaning, meaning you're even the, the so-called white man has even turned your woman against you and oppressed you. Toward now, you you got to catch hell from inside your house, and when you go outside your house, you got to catch hell. Okay, that oppression, and we know that oppression make of a wise man mad. So if you're if you're happy in this society. If you feel good in this society, if you wake up in the morning charged up, not in the spirit, but you charged up, ready to get your, your day going, so to speak, okay, uh, 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 look, looking forward, looking forward to going to school, getting a degree, looking forward to going to Esau's uh, uh, um, uh, uh, offices, sitting down, or maybe you had a standing desk, all right, uh, uh, typing away 10 hours straight and then bring your, your work home and then commuting another hour and a half back home. If you're if you're happy for that, 
you're you're not wise. All right, you're a fool. Because you should see that you're getting oppressed on all sides. You have no inheritance. All right, you don't even think about your culture. You that the, your culture has been beating on you so so heavily that that doesn't even come. You don't even regard who you were once were. Oh, oh now you got you got so-called black so-called blackness uh, so-called black men. I'll say so-called black tribes, the Negro tribes. They think they're Wakandans. A, a fictional story that the so-called white man has made up. All right, let's say a so-called black man made it up. Okay, let's say that it's still fictional. It's not real, which it does have some uh, uh, some some hidden some hidden hidden in the windows there, some some preludes of what's gonna what is gonna be like in the kingdom of heaven. All right, but that's not the whole story. This is uh this is Proverbs three. Uh, give me a second while I load. Satan. Proverbs 3 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. All right, because in order for you to receive these riches in here in America, you have to do what your oppressor does. All right, because there's a certain there's a certain way that the so-called white man has gotten his riches. The scriptures talk about how the so-called white man got his riches by by the sword. By by uh by deceit, by how he oppressed a man in his house, you know, riches gotten by deceit. All right, so the so, so the scriptures outline how this, how in order to receive riches in this kingdom, you have to do all manner of wickedness. You have to become if you're not an Edomite, you have to become you have to be, you have to come in the spirit of es Esau. All right, you have to come in the spirit of Edom, which is to totally. Uh, 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 your, your thought process has to disregard uh, any type of uh, 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 consequence to your actions. Meaning, you have to just be a brute beast, and you have to. And, and the Most High cannot be in your thoughts. You can't say, you know, if I do this, will the Lord judge me? Maybe, maybe nobody else can see me doing this, right? I'm, I'm behind, I'm, I'm, cl I'm behind closed doors, so to speak. All right. But does the Most High see this? Will He judge me for that? The so-called white man, the, uh, the Most High, is not at all in his thoughts, right? Yeah, the scriptures say that uh, the the wicked go, the wicked are estranged from the womb; they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. So you have to and pretty much embody the spirit of Esau, which you get indoctrinated ever since you were born. All right, he's filling you up with uh with vaccinations to mess with your cognition. All right, all right, you 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 were on you were bre you you weren't even breastfed. All right, say you were breastfed. You were your 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 your, your mother was uh, eating GMOs, all right, uh, 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 pesticide and herbicide uh, uh, ridden food. And when you go into that, if you go into the science of that, all right, the so-called white man he he tests out everything, and he sees that okay, this is going to mess this is going to mess you up. All right, let's push it into their communities. So you're so so just then you're all messed up in the spirit. Okay, you're less you're less uh, acceptable. Or you're less, yeah, you're less acceptable to receive the spirit of the Lord if 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 the Lord if unless the Lord puts the spirit on you. Okay, and Esau knows that. All right, when you go in, when you're when you're in kindergarten, preschool, all right, he, he teaches nothing but white supremacy. That's all the, that it is. Hardcore white supremacy, man. Okay, so you're 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 brought up, you're brought up in a in a society where. You're being taught to be an Edomite, all right, and and also you're being taught that the reason why you're in this situation is because you're uneducated. So you, what do you have to do? You have to go into the white man system, buy into a system, buy into what he believes. All right, there's not enough programs for you, all right, or, or you're just you all you see is niggas just being niggas, okay? All right, we can't we can't diminish the fact that niggas are niggas, all right, meaning they're just wild animals, okay? So you're not supposed to envy the oppressor. You're not supposed to envy this damn devil, and or or none of these damn heathens too, okay? Because these heathens, these heathens, these these customs of the heathens are vain. And ultimately, man, they're gonna they're gonna uh, uh, stray you away from your power, even though they have the nice cars, which you will see nice cars, the flashy things. They they might live in a better neighborhood than you. You know they ain't hearing gunshots. You know, they don't have a women problem like you. 
Well, th those are all part of those curses. And you have to regard that. You have to be like, okay, this this is my punishment. But also the Lord, he gave you a way out. And that's to accept his word. Okay? Accept his, accept his knowledge. And if you if you uh, find in your heart that, this is, okay, this is too hard. I don't want to do this anymore. Well, you know what? Death to you. Because the Lord, he actually gives you a way out. The, the other way out is to be destroyed. So let me bring out this other scripture. This is one of my favorite scriptures in Psalm 73. Because... You know, in the world, you will ask these questions. You be like, "Damn, man, this is like, I can't, I can't, I can't get out of my situation. I'm, I'm pretty much stuck." Okay, in in order for me to, to feel any type of uh, um, pleasure in this world, I have to, I have to partake in wickedness, man. That's really what it comes down to. Cause what did the scripture say? Even in laughter, there's a sorrowful continent. Your continence is sorrowful. Just roughly paraphrasing. Okay. Because you can't you can't be happy in this in this in this kingdom, in this queendom, so to speak. All right, you can't you can't feel loved. All right, you you you're being taught to be hated. All right, from your from your you're being taught to hate your, your your skin, to hate your race. Okay, to hate the way that you talk, hate the things that you like. So this is Psalm seventy three and one. Truly, the Most High is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. And how do you get a clean heart? It's by coming back to the Lord, washing, getting washed, getting baptized. All right, by that fire. All right, not getting dunked in some in some dirty wingworm infested water. All right, it's being converted. All right, accepting that you're an Israelite. All right, and then and then watching the prophets, because the prophets going to tell you the things that are going to befall you and how to change your ways, man. All right. It says, uh, but as for me. And also, the Most High is only dealing with the children of Israel, all right? You you can't be another nation unless you are an Israelite foreigner that looks like the other nations. You're not going to be accepted. You're not coming into the congregation, okay? I don't, I don't care how many people break that down to you all wrong. You're not coming into the congregation. It says, but as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped, meaning he was in... He was in he was in derision, man. He was in he was in uh, bewilderment, man. All right, just just all messed up. All right, it says, for I was envious at the foolish, and the foolish goes into the so-called white men uh, uh, chiefly. All right, because a fool is 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 a is a man that says there is no god, and who all these other nations say there is a god, even though they worship a bugged out god. The only the only nation, are right, as a whole that doesn't believe in God. Is the so-called white man doesn't believe in a higher power, or dis or distor distorts it. Okay. So 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 the so-called white man is the foolish, and also going into the other nations, they are foolish. Okay. It says, when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, yeah, because you can get down. You know you, shit. Your your rent. Your you you always scraping together. You know trying to get your rent. Okay, you're um, you 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 having all type of uh, sicknesses. Okay, you you look down upon from the moment you step out because of, because uh because of your situation, and then all you see around you is just big money, just flashing. He's just flashing at you, you know, you know, uh, stunning on you, looking at you, looking looking down upon you, calling you all these 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 names, these proverbs, these bywords. Okay, that to to a man that, of of non understanding, that that can that can really play on your um on your um on the way that you live your life, okay. And that's why you see our people uh, in a state and condition that they're in, put, and, and and then they 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 further that by 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 um by partaking, okay, by partaking in um in destructive behavior, okay. Not, not coming back to the Lord. Basically, that's what it means. Okay? So, so that's though they smoke weed or put tattoos on their body. Or they'll, they'll commit adultery when all these things are adverse to life. All right? And, and that's why you're in that current situation uh, uh, speaking right now. You know? That's why Jake is so messed up right now. Because we were, we were doing all that. Okay? So you can get envious at the wicked. But this, that, hey man, the water, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash, that he gave us these scriptures. Because then you can revert back to the scriptures. You'd be like, oh, okay, you know, that's a demon. 
All right, you know this, because we're we're almost out of here. Okay. I right, says verse four for for there are no bands in their death, but their strength their strength is firm. All right, they ain't catching hell. All right, living to a, a old age, you know, eating all type of messed up food. They they still living, they still eating. You know. Therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. Violence covers them as a uh, as a garment. Okay, yeah, they they uh, they they're very proudful as a nation, and they and they and, and they and they look down upon you with that with that proud that proud 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 look, you know, because they're not kept they're not in in the situation that you're in. They they're living good. It says their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. Okay, they can take you up. The Esau, the elite banking family, they can make sure every Jake is well taken care of, man. Okay, we built this kingdom up anyway. They have enough wealth to uh make the whole world prosper. Okay, and and the, and the scriptures outline what you what what you what you should do if you want to prosper in this society, and that's keeping the laws, keeping the land stab, Sabbath, honoring the the high holy days, you know. Once you go uh, astray from that, then it's nothing nothing befalls you but death and calamity. Uh, let me uh. I might finish that, but I, I want to wrap it up. Let me see if I had I had another. Okay, yeah. Let me let me kind of revert and go into this scripture that I wanted to go into, go into the prophecy, because I read earlier about how those riches are not going to profit you. Oh, okay. And that in a day in a day of wrath, and wrath is coming when when the nuclear missiles shoot off. That's the ultimate day of wrath. That's that final hour. And if you don't if you don't have that exemption. That spiritual exemption from judgment, okay, you're gonna be destroyed right along, and you're not gonna be able to buy your way out of it, or you're not gonna be able to present any type of money to any nation or the Most High to get you out of that uh out of out of that um that out of that trouble. So this is uh Isaiah 13 and 16. Their children also shall be dashed into piece, pieces pieces before their eyes uh, their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished that's right when them when them nuclear missiles touch down it's going it's going to dash your children into pieces it's going to ravish your wives it's going to destroy everything behold i will stir up the meads against them which shall not regard silver and as for gold they shall not delight in it. them ancient the ancient meads the medial per the, the meads the, the iranians also going uh, also these other nations that's going to be uh uh co collaborate collaborated with them the, the russians the chinese the chinese okay the koreans all these nations it says which shall not regard silver and as for gold they shall not delight in it their bows also shall dash the young men into pieces to pieces and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb their eyes shall not spare children and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when Sodom and Gomorrah shall, shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. So yeah, so you you uh, your money, which is nothing but Federal Reserve notes, or 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 if you have physical money, gold and silver, that's not going to profit you. The, the scriptures say that they're not going to regard that. Okay, the little, the little amount of chump change you got, they're not going to regard the amount of money the elites have. Okay? All things are going to speed up. All things are being sped up for the elect's sake. And you can't be in the spirit of envying your oppressor. All right, because your oppressor shall soon be destroyed. You know what? Because you're, you're envying the oppressor when the Most High said, we gonna, we're going to oppress our oppressors, man. How about that? How about those apples? What what other what other uh power, what other god or what other nation, what other what other law or anything in the world, what other entity will allow you to do that to 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 actually oppress and get back 
for all the unrighteousness that have been committed against you. Okay? So we're going to be able to oppress our oppressors. Uh, you know, I want to actually get the one that says, oh, I believe it's one of the Y'all work with me one second. The, the scripture escapes me at this particular moment but I'm going to try to find it give me one more second if I, if I can't find it, it's all good At this at this moment it doesn't it, it escapes me but it, it's all good it's all good pretty much I mean I can get the one in Jeremiah let me get that I'll end it off on this one I'll try to find that scripture later this is Jeremiah 30 and 16 wherefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured and all thy adversaries every one of them shall go into captivity and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil and I will give and I and and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So pretty much uh, all the nations that have oppressed and prayed upon us, the Lord, he's going to give them for uh, give them to us um, as a prey. You know what I mean? All the nations that primarily Esau, man, he's, Esau is the one to put the most the most hell on us, man, you know. He, 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 and, and he, he continues to put hell upon us, you know, there, this is it right here. Let me get this Isaiah uh, 14 and two, and the people shall take them and bring them into their place and the house of Israel shall possess them and the land of the Lord for servants and for handmaids. Yeah, you Edomites, you biblical Edomites and you biblical Ammonites and a uh, uh, mold by the children of Lot. Okay. The Ishmaelites, the Midianites. Okay. Five sons of Keturah, all all you mix, all you nations, you mixed nations, okay. The Japhites, okay. The Hamites. It says that we're gonna take you and possess you in the land of the Lord, meaning we're uh, wherever we're at, primarily in the land of Israel. All right, when we when the kingdom of is is established, okay. It says and possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, meaning servants and handmaids. That's clear. I mean you're gonna you're gonna be a perpetual slave unto us and they shall take them captives okay if you didn't understand what a servant or a handmaid was we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh, actually uh, uh, take you as captives just like we are captives right now okay whose captives they were so we were once captive we are still captives right now but very soon we're gonna not we're not going to be captives and they shall rule over their oppressors Okay, so we ain't gonna we're not gonna envy our oppressors because the Lord said that we're gonna rule over our oppressors, you know. So until then, call halal ya bashim al shai bashim rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the Akim out there pushing this word. Shalom to the left, uh, to the elect. Shalom to the elect, and death to all not all the non-believers. Shalom.